Aloha. Aloha, Coach Michelle here. I'm going to go over some more stability ball exercises. Today I'm going to focus on the chest for you. We're going to do a chest press, a chest fly, and an inclined chest press, and an inclined chest fly, all using the stability ball. The, the benefit of this is that it keeps your core nice and tight as well as your glutes because you'll see when I'm, when I'm doing the position that my glutes have to be contracted in order to maintain my stability. So you can start with no weights or very light weights, and if you're feeling extremely strong, by all means, go with heavier weights. But the first one I'm going to do is a chest fly. So you're going to scooch on the ball until your head is completely supported on the ball, and my butt and my back is completely off the ball. My knees are in alignment with my shoulders, and my knees are also in alignment with my ankles. Don't let the butt stay down here. You want to squeeze the butt up and keep those glutes contracted. Palms are facing each other. You're going to open out to the side and squeeze up, out to the side, and squeeze up. You want to do about 12 to 16 of those. For a chest press, you want to turn your hands so that they're this way, and you're going to bring the arms down alongside of your body, press straight up. Down alongside of your body, press straight up. Now, if you want to do an incline fly, notice my glutes are still tight and my hips are still high. But for an incline fly, what I'm going to do is drop myself down, push, my butt just above the ground, my head is still resting on the ball. Now my hands are going to come out a little bit in front of me. Now for a chest fly with an incline, my arms are going to open out to the side and squeeze up. Open out to the side and squeeze up. Again, my butt's not touching the ground, but my glutes are contracted and my quadriceps are getting a little bit of a workout right now because I'm staying tight. Now if you want to switch that to a press, your palms come this way and now you bring your elbows down alongside of your body and press straight up, down alongside of your body, and press straight up. If you want to also add into another chest exercise, you could do a chest, um, excuse me, a push up on the ball. For that, what you would want to do, and I'm going to do the very easy method first, is bring your belly onto the ball, walk your hands out, so just that your hips are on the ball, and you're going to go down and up and down and up. As you get stronger and stronger with this move, you will walk further and further out, and you will go down and up. And eventually you'll be able to have just your toes on the ground. But no rush for that. Take, a, take some time, do those. I would recommend between 10, 12, 16 reps on each one. Have an amazing day. Aloha.